Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my NHL 22 franchise mode here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, year number three, regular season. 15, 6, and 3 is good enough for first in the NHL. Now, if you leave it right there, that current statement, perfect. Well, things must be going really, really well. Uh, yeah, things could, could, they could be a tad better. Now, we came into the season with uh, wishy-washy chemistry. First line was fantastic as always. Defense is uh, pluses here or there. Our first lines are getting it done. Dylan Larkin ain't too shabby. Second line center, he's fine. It's It's been weird. Now, outside of the top six, Stevenson, Kerfoot, Ritchie, uh, Heinen, uh, Nybeck, uh, Phillips, uh, Soderberg, everybody outside of my top six is a minus player. That's brutal. It's unacceptable. It's not good enough. Defensively, we could look to add something closer or maybe in the deadline i'm not i'm not sure if i've decided if i'm going to jump into the deadline fully i might make a couple moves before the day see if we can snag something on the block mackenzie weger has been super disappointing after a really great season for us last year muzzin's been fine if i'm going to make a move jake muzzin is the guy because he is an expiring contract uh we yeah or maybe Man manson's been pretty good for us though Oh, he's got two years left on it. Oh, it's sick. I didn't even realize that. Goaltending-wise, oh, it's been pretty good for us. Jack Campbell's putting in some solid uh, veteran numbers. Caden, I mean, veteran. He's 31, but I, I mean, you know, former... Well, 11th overall pick. I forgot. Uh, Caden Primo, he's been solid in his first real starting season. I did make one adjustment. Just one. Just one adjustment going into uh, <laughs> this episode i moved down uh let me actually get to, wow this ps4 version how is it this goddamn slow ea how 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 uh, i did call up morgan geeky morgan geeky was in the ahl this year for us he was on a tear he was on a roll 14 goals, 20 points in 22 games for the Marlies. So I decided to call him up. He is going to be in the power... Or he's going to be on the second uh, uh, power play unit. I don't know why I struggled with that. He's got pretty good shooting accuracy. Let's try him out. Let's see if he works. That's the only thing I've really changed. Kerfoot's up in the top nine now, which is cool. Good for him. We are uh, waiting on an injured uh, Zaboral. I don't... When is he supposed to be back? It's not for a bit. We're going to have to wait for him. Uh, Sandine is our man. Brett Nash, watch out for the man. I did ask you guys if who you guys wanted to see as captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I didn't get a whole lot of replies. I won't lie. I know the video has, hasn't been up very long. <laughs> so I'm not going to name a captain. We might go into the playoffs. I just, something needs to make sense. And we're going to see a leader out of this team in this stretch. We want to bring home a president's. Our first president's trophy as GM and Toronto's first president's trophy in a very long time. I'm not even sure if they've ever won one. Let's get, let's get to simulating. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not get to simulating. I have a contract offer to make. Let me pull out my trusty old calculator, which is my phone. Oh, let's see. Nope, that is the notes app. Oh, and there is there is a clear difference there. Austin Matthews, 96 overall, generational talent. It's so damn good. He's he's guaranteed for 50 a year at this point with his overall and his X factors. He's a beauty. How can you not love him? He's currently making 11.355. I'm gonna offer him, and he only wants 11.8. Oh, thank you. Thank you, hockey gods. I checked last episode, and I'm glad it's exactly the same. We have a bit of money to work with in the offseason, except there's a whole lot of expiring contracts. Times this by 0.85. We could potentially get him at a cheaper contract. 10 point, uh, basically $10 million. I'm not going to do Austin Matthews like that. And he's already making 11.3. So I'm going to give him 11. 
11 over eight years that's 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 a big contract and you know what we could get him down to 10 mil uh he deserves 11 still hasn't won a playoff series yet which is iffy uh william nylander is his contract come down he still wants 9.275 i'm not giving willie 9.275 that ain't gonna happen uh stevenson can i bring him back five mil that guy can wait uh Mazin doesn't want to come back that makes him uh an even bigger trading chip or if we want to go out and make that move near the deadline i'm all for it Ooh, a couple of injuries throughout the season so far let's get back to simulating and see where the first place toronto maple leafs are after december well 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 we got boston two times this month let's sim a couple of games here 15 6 and 3 austin matthews is back in the blue and white for another eight seasons we got him to that contract really easy we could have saved a million dollars but we did save eight hundred thousand dollars that's ah it is what it is we lose our first game of the simulation this episode not a great way to start oh for oh my god the injury slider's been so mean to me in the last year and a half uh josh manson has been injured with a sore foot you're gonna go out of you're gonna go out with the sore foot okay edit lines oh, jesus man really really december 19th uh i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can uh do some roster moves real quick okay that's fine as long as it doesn't screw up anything too too much uh well we lost josh manson he's a defensive defenseman wow we've lost so much uh let's go logan stanley six foot seven absolute beauty i got okay oh whoa 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 we're over the cap is that is that what that just said yikes that's not good uh let's go back to the nhl bring up who's the worst uh hollowell we could send down except he's covering somebody uh i'll send down soderberg i don't think he, i think he'll pass through waivers i think he passed through waivers <laughs> yay uh no okay logan stanley's good i thought i don't know i saw i saw something that said oh he left the team he did he did he did leave the ahl oh don't get upset you should be happy for your brother you should be happy for him logan stanley uh brett nash uh, uh i'll just leave it like that i'll leave it like that this sucks oh my god that's such a bad defensive core this very second so many injuries josh manson out until the 19th of december it's not very long uh ahl wise do i even have another defenseman that i could throw in there oh uh, yeah villanova perfect 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 <laughs> oh the draft class yes i made sure to send my scouts around all over the place grigorenko is that projected first overall pick you know he's going to be an absolute beauty oh i'm so jealous we won't be we won't be picking top 10 this year it will not be happening we beat the philadelphia flyers one to nothing in overtime I i'll take a win a win is a win is a win Ooh, boston's right beside us in the in the you know, in the standings in the atlantic division we're gonna lose against them in regulation Ooh, ottawa can we rebound here oh for the love of god toronto what is in the water are your bones made of uh, paper <laughs> drink some milk drink some milk oh i don't have the players i don't have them i don't i literally i have to go head coach but i have to do that <laughs> I, I don't i don't well okay yep the lineup is screwed let's see if we can win some games boston four nothing shutout loss perfect i can't i'm not playing with the lines this game's so goddamn slow let's see if we can win some games with just the absolute most messed up lineup oh come on rebound against detroit this has been a crappy month and we still haven't got anybody back from injury yet seriously is my is he not healthy yet it's the 19th i counted i can read oh, this game is gonna be the death of me <laughs> the injury slider is at nine and that's usually the perfect sweet spot sometimes it's great sometimes you get absolutely rocked uh and this is just one of those years yeah we're turning december 19th wow december 21st <laughs> half our defensive core 
<laughs> it's just is gone. Oh joy! Oh, that's perfect. And yeah, I can't afford to send anybody else down. So I'm just I just have to rock with what we have. Arizona, can we beat the Coyotes? Can you pick up some wins here? Oh, oh my God. Oh my god, this game is the bane of my existence. How does this keep... Jonathan Huberto was out until December 27th. December 27th, head coach place player. Josh Manson, hey! Josh Manson, fully healed, congratulations! Rasmus Sandin is playing... <laughs> oh, this poor defensive core! Oh, okay, where did... Okay. Okay, where did everybody play? Hollowell was in for Zaboral. Stanley came in for Manson. How did Logan do? Logan, how were you? Uh, not awful. He didn't put up any points, but that's that's fine. Okay, Muzzin, welcome back. Minus three here, Phillips. <laughs> oh my god. Scratch players. I mean, I'll keep Logan Stanley in. Yeah, we can we can just yeah, this good. Good. Everybody get healthy. Yeah. Healthy. Wow, what a month of December. We've just given an absolute... You're... Okay, sure. Uh, Brett Nash, hey, you want a couple games on the top line? Cool, works for me. Sandine, you're gonna have to... Sandine, you're not playing... <laughs> Sandine, you can't play forward, buddy. Uh, I'm sorry. I just can't... I can't allow that to happen. And we will throw in... Uh, Phillips on that second line for a little bit. Yeah, sure. 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 I just need to get, get to the end of the month. We beat the Coyotes in the shootout... Stay healthy. Healthy, stay healthy. Rasmus Sandin is fully healed. I'm not taking the risk, uh, risk of putting somebody in the lineup that isn't fully healed. I just feel it happens so much that you take a player and put them back in after injury and they just get hurt immediately. Immediately. Fun times. Okay, Sandin is back. Looking a whole lot prettier after that. Ooh, nice, nice. Uh, I would like to get Hollow out of the lineup. I think it's about time this off season we're changing coaches. It looks like we just fit more of an offensive uh, role. You know, we just need more of an offensive coach, get a bunch of pluses on our forward core. Defense will be whatever. Columbus, Sammy Niku. Oh, I got to pick him up. I don't have money though. I don't have money. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. I can't pick him up. I can't. I don't have any money i have no dollars jonathan huberto was fully healed welcome back please don't get hurt don't make that a regular occurrence phillips how have you done have you done you have four assists in nine games you're playing with dylan larkin and vitili kratsov so <laughs> you know uh let's 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 get back to simulating saboral still out uh yeah let's Keep simulating. Get to the end of December. We beat Columbus on a little bit of a roll here. End the month off strong. End it off strong. 21, 10, 22, 10, and 3. We beat the Red Wings once again. Get to the end of December. What a long month. That took two months. <laughs> we're, we have, we're, I'm going to try to get through the entire regular season this episode. And we drop two to end the month against Buffalo and Carolina. Rough. Not, a, not the way I wanted to end things there. Oh, 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 22, 12, and 3. Ain't a bad record. Bruins are right in front of us. Red Rings are right behind us. Uh, Canadians, Panthers are in the wild card positions. Metro. Penguins on top. Okay, Golden Knights. Yep, Golden Knights are good again. Good for them. <laughs> Let's check points. Halfway through the regular season, I'm going to check uh, special teams in this division. Goals 4. How do the Bruins have 23 wins with only 99 goals scored? Because they've only allowed 75. What are those games? Most goals scored. Buffalo, quite a good team, but they're 17, 17, and 2. We're the second best goals against. Uh, we have, we've scored exactly <laughs> these. We're, we're 110 and 110. Brutal, brutal. Not great stuff. Power play percentage. Down to 20%. How do you make this team better? How did chemistry? I, I guess it's coaching, right? At that point, uh, penalty kill is eighty four point two percent. I'm not. I mean, it's not that bad with the defensive players that we have. <laughs> it's just, 
<laughs> oh, this season so far. We're about 37 games through the season. This team is absolutely injured. Injured? No, Owen. Injured. Yeah. We finally got healthy. Mitch Marner is leading this team in points. Yes. Is that Captain Material? I've been unhappy with him in the past years. Good old Canadian kid is captain. Maybe. Austin Matthews, 40 points, 23 goals, uh, which is damn good, leading the team in goals. William Nylander, the absolute playmaker this year, 32 points. I'm happy with that. Huberto, 29. Uh, Larkin, 25. Minus player, not great. Uh, Vitili Kratsov's got 21 points. And how is our bottom six so incredibly bad? It's I gotta make a coaching change. How is it? How is an 85 overall a minus 17? How are they all minus players? Morgan Geeky. Ah, I was so smart. He went on the power play. He's been actually pretty good on the power play. All three of his points. Oh, three of his four points came on the power play. Holy crap, our bottom six. Uh, Rasmus Sandin leading the team in, uh, leading the defenseman in points. Minus eight for Brett Nash. I'm still happy with those point totals, though. Josh Manson ain't too shabby. Uyghur got better, but he's a minus eight. His team is getting dunked on defensively. We, we just can't. Goaltending got worse, but it's also not as bad as you would expect it to be with the amount of crap in the bottom six. I'm going to check coaches. Maybe somebody's been fired. I don't think I can recall a coach being fired in the last bit. Coaching staff. Uh, we're second in the division now. That's, that's a hard spot to be in. But do we go to another postseason where the same crap happens again? We are re Where we are a goal-scoring behemoth and nothing happens. We get absolutely dunked on in the postseason, right? I'm... I kind of... Do we go with Beach as head coach for a little bit? Defense A+. Plus. I don't... I'm not sure how much that would change this team up. Maybe we go Henrique. Mar Maurice Henrique for a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... I'm going to do some finagling. Whoop! I'm going to send him down. Sorry, man. <laughs> don't be too upset. We're going to go Henrique. Ooh. Henrique. Ooh. Hold on. Hold your horses. Uh... I mean, Beach says he'd be better with her. No, that's just staff chemistry. Overall, uh, I'll send, I'll, I'll promote you to head coach here for a little bit. We're going to call. Where is he? Where did I send him? Uh, yes. Assistant coach. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. And you're going to be our assistant for a little bit. Try that out. I want to see how much that changes chemistry. If it changes chemistry at all. Cool. I, that bottom six just needs to change, man. It's been so abysmal. So it did change things up. Not the way that... It got worse. <laughs> yeah! Oh, it got worse. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, Morgan Geeky. Oh, we're going to send you down there. Nice. Do I just go with this? Do I try him out as our head coach for a little bit? Is that disrespectful? To, <laughs> to our current head coach? Is it a little bit? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. You... No pluses. None. You get nothing. Uh, I'm going to try it out for like 10 games. Just try it out for a little bit. And if I see legitimate results in our bottom six getting better, I just, let's take it a game at a time. Every, it's We're still second in the division. I'm just worried we get to the postseason and everything's garbage. I would also like to win a division for once. That has really hurt us in years past if we could have just been seated differently except the second or third spot in the division or wild card it would just it would just make things a whole lot different for us we wouldn't have faced boston we wouldn't have faced florida and maybe we would have won i'm not sure starting the month off oh and one can we rebound oh and two we'll do another game can you just win win a game win toronto thank you <laughs> LA hey two five one wins in a row cool coolio cool beans nice I just want to win the division man Zaboral Zaboral you've been out for a while man uh, you've been out for a while I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry you got hurt but welcome back to the lineup we missed you a lot come back we love you thank you Zaboral I'll keep I'll keep Stanley in the NHL for a bit 
I just don't trust. I don't trust the injury slider right now. I feel the moment I talk about it, something bad's going to happen. Hey, another NHL game with no all-star break. Isn't that cool? And we beat the Vegas Golden Knights. Oh, John Tavares. I missed it. I missed it. Chicago and the Florida Panthers. The Florida Panthers beat the Blackhawks. 7-6 loss. Ugh, that's rough. That's a that's that's all on goaltending there. Yikes. Florida, come on. 4-1 loss. I, I don't understand this simulation, man. I don't understand it. Come on, come on. How are you losing 4-3? Just shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down, man. Shut it down, please. Shut it down. Please, just win games. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Columbus. Uh, I don't even know what to make of this. I don't understand. Uh, Romanov would be pretty cool to bring on. Romanov would be pretty cool to bring on. Now we do... Hmm. Romanov. From the Montreal Canadiens. 84 overall. He is going to be in RFA. He, we can't sign him right now. And we couldn't either because of the cap. Hmm. Is that a guy that we acquire and just have him as an asset next year so we can put him on our on our defensive core? I do like Emmanuel Turgeon. Turgeon? Turgeon? Whatever. Detergent. Romanov. I don't... I like him. I like Romanov. I do. He's also got an X Factor, but I'm not so sure about that. He's an 84 overall. He can play left or right. Could I give you a little less than Turgeon? I mean, Turgeon, we're not going to use him as a goalie ever. And they want him. He'll never start for this team. He'll never, ever start. Well, if we're going to make that trade, let's talk to the Anaheim Ducks. Well, they do have... Well, we'll get to the deadline. We'll get to the deadline, then that's when we make those trades. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas. Oh, and pro none, of them will, none of them will work. No, they just won't. Lose against New Jersey, beat Edmonton, end things off well. 28 wins. Can we get to 30 before the end of January? We can! 30, 17, and 5. We won 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 in regulation. And 1, 2? Whatever. <laughs> I can't count. I can't count. Don't bother. Don't bother. It's, it's not worth it anyways. 62 points for Mitchell Marner. Second in the division. And I don't want to play the Red Wings. Can you just give us a crappy team? Can you just give us a crappy team? Guess who's on the up and up? The Detroit Red Wings. Crap. First, we're going to check special teams. If it got better with this current coach, I'm going to have a crisis. We need to upgrade uh, our coach this offseason. That is an absolute. Goals four, we're second. Closing, so our goals four definitely went up there. Ooh, nice. Good stuff. Goals against... Ugh, goals against we are the second worst goaltenders have been crap for us power play went down to 18 percent 18.1 percent with the people that we have on our team does that make any sense to you at all with a plus five we do have an 86 percent penalty kill i'm i'm happy with that i just should be you know it should be reversed right this team is an offensive dynamo we're so good but at the same time we're also so incredibly terrible if we could just you know have a 15 or 14 game win streak again that'd be really cool okay plus minus mitch matthews perfect matthews led us in points the last two seasons he's also missed three games he's got 32 goals he's perfect huberto pats nylander cool stuff larkin a minus four Oh, so the plus minus just didn't get better. Oh my god. I don't get it. 
is probably line chemistry. It's just also those forwards are fantastic and they should just work, right? No. St. Dean, absolute beauty. I'm glad we got him locked down to that contract. Manson, pretty good. Uh, Brett Nash, as a rookie defenseman, I'm happy with that. Uyghur, really disappointing from Uyghur. Uh, very disappointing. Zaboral, Muzzin, kind of, yeah. I'm not uh, super stoked with this team. Goaltending-wise, you've been crap. All of you, you've been crap. Campbell, you haven't been too bad. Whoo. <laughs> When's the deadline? <laughs> When's the deadline? <laughs> Please, deadline. Where is it? Okay. 52 games in the season. Point back of the Bruins. They have four games at hand on us, though. So they should... They should probably lock up the division. Uh, they, they'll probably lock up the division soon. Into the month of February, I'm excited for the deadline. I'm not sure if I'm going to make any moves. <laughs> this I don't know if the Leafs are just cursed, but nothing's working. We're currently on our forward head coach. I feel I kind of feel bad for our other coach because we just, you know, demoted him. That would That's kind of petty. Two wins... That's a couple wins in a row there. Hold on. That's five wins. Five wins in a row. Mm. Make me a fan of this team. Simulation. Do it. Don't make this difficult. Six wins in a row. Colorado, that'll be a tough matchup. Losing regulation. San Jose. We beat them five to two. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. <laughs> Arizona. That's a win. I'll take that for sure. Lose against Anaheim, though. It's not a great... That's not great. And we will sim up the day before the deadline. Martin Fevre has been fully healed. Cool. Has been fully healed? Whatever. We could potentially get to 40 wins this month. Dallas? Okay. Colorado again. Everybody's getting injured. <laughs> We're getting... We're getting dunked on. Lose against Colorado 4-3 once again. Goaltending is just not good enough for us. Even with their... Is it defense? Lose against Washington. Oh, for the love of God, could you do me a favor, simulation? My favorite boy, Vitili Kratsov, has been injured with a mild concussion March 10th. Oh, should be back uh, soon, within the week. Cool. Don't get hurt. 38, 21, and 5? Five? 5? Did it say 5? Five? 5. 38, 21, and 5. First place in the division, so we caught up. The Bruins sucked. They're to end... Th I mean, they're still a really good team. Canadians, Bruins? Ooh, first round would be gorgeous, baby. Matthew's now leading us in points. It was only a matter of time. I'm not going to check uh, penalty kill power play. I kind of just want to go into the deadline, see if we can find anything. Points. Let's go. Austin Matthews, baby. He's a real deal. Oh, nope. He's a real deal. He's a real deal. <laughs> we already knew that. He's going to score like 60 goals again. Marner, perfect. Ny uh, Nylander and Huberto have been fantastic. Still minus players, though. Uh, how are you a minus 18? Explain to me how you're a minus 18. Look me in the eyes and tell me I'm a minus 18. Give me a reason. <laughs> I don't understand. Goalie-wise, there's been they've been so bad. They've been so bad. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand EA. Okay, the deadline is here. I'm going to do uh, my due diligence, check around the league and see if there's anything I want on the block. Just, you know, call around. Hey, hey, Jimbo, what's, what do you got on the block? Hmm? Anything on the block? I'd love to bring in, like, a Connor McDavid. That'd be pretty cool. Drysdale, see, that was the other guy I was talking about. If it wasn't Romanov, Jamie Drysdale is the piece I'd be willing to bring over. Last deadline, I was going to target him, but he ended up not being on the block during the deadline itself. They took him off, and I, I was sad, but we got Huberto. I wasn't too upset after that. If everything goes wrong this postseason, Jamie Drysdale is a perfect guy to have in your in your on your first pairing next year. So if 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 we do anything, that might be the right way to go. Phil K 
Kessel, you make so much money, you deserve it. You you deserve every dollar you've ever made, Phil Kessel. I just, I would love to bring him over, but I can't afford it. I got no money. I have no money. <laughs> I got nothing. Nothing. Uh, whoa, Pomarev. Go back to, go back to Carolina. 78 at 21 years of age. Already a third? Okay, cool. Cool. I wonder if he'll turn out to be anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, this was this Martinson guy that was picked. All right. Maybe. Maybe we go after that. Can the game... Oh my god. It's so incredibly slow. Oh my god. Will Butcher? No thanks. Kruger? No. 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 Definitely not to... to uh, Tyler Bertuzzi. <laughs> I can't speak right now. Oh my god. Uh, Nick Pat How is his trade value that high? Is it because he's that overall and only making... Seven hundred thousand dollars, Philip Deneau. Who would want to pay eleven million dollars for Drew Doughty? Not me. You couldn't ever catch me doing that. Nope. Romanov. No thanks. <laughs> Ekholm would also be cool. Just don't have the money. We'd have to do a swap. It definitely have to be a swap. Shatil. Do love him. We could do the same. We could pull the same thing with him. Leave him out there so we can re-sign him this offseason. Because you just know the postseason isn't going to go our way. You just feel it in the air. I just, it just, I don't, I can't explain it. I can just feel it in my bones. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds about right. Hmm, Max Domi. God, I would, I, if I see him in free agency and he's cheap, I'm bringing him over. That would be so cool. I just, I just find that so cool if I could bring him over. Mm, Winnipeg. They got nothing. There was that guy from Carolina. Um, I mean, he's on the block. He's a... S Holy jeez! He's the guy. Oh my god, I can't pass this up. If there's a guy that we need who would be absolutely perfect for this team, it's this Martinson kid who we did not pick in the draft. Carolina's got him on the block, though. Carolina, what do you want? I am willing to give you basically anything that you want in, you know, in, in the, you know, in a, <laughs> in a perfect world, I don't give you too much. I will go ahead. Do I want him in my lineup, though? I'll give you Blitchfield. Blitchfield, whatever. We don't need him. Expiring contract. Uh, I'm going to have to give them a night. I'm just going to have to give them something nice. Uh, Medvinov, for sure. I just like these perfect guy. I'd love to see him on this team. Turgeon, I think Turgeon, right? Do they need a goalie? Carolina, you probably need a goalie. You traded away Nedeljkovic. You need a goalie. It, that's perfect. Blyshfield, Medvinov, Turgeon for that prospect. I'm pulling the trigger. Yes, Turgeon is our big asset. We could we could use at the deadline. Martinson's the uh, Martinson's a beast though. You, I can just tell he's gonna be a machine. Carolina, trade has been accepted. They call it a no-brainer. I feel I I just I make out like uh, I feel like I make out on the better side there. Uh, do I want see now? Do I want him in the NHL, or do I just let him continue the rest of the year in the AHL? Maybe bring him up during the play. That's what I'm gonna do. That's I feel like that's a smart decision there. We'll go ahead chuck him in the AHL. He's not on waivers. Perfect. He should be a solid 80 plus overall next year. I can have him as a power play asset. It looks like he just scores goals at will. I'm going to go best lines in the AHL. Martinson, Hosang, uh, Jankowski. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Robertson. Slowly becoming. Uh, he's 22 and he's grown nothing. He's dead, just hasn't grown at all, which is not, not perfect. That's not great. I won't lie. Uh, can I, okay, just minus, you're just, okay, I guess we'll have a minus, sure, ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh, spaghetti-o, wait, yay, perfect, HL's good, 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 in the NHL, do we even go in to the deadline, there was nothing on the block, 
<laughs> there was nothing on the blog. Screw it. We're going to go uh, and just finish out the rest of the season. I'm not even going to go into the trade deadline. We'll check the trades that happened. I just... I don't see anything. We don't have the space. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, keep current trade block. I'm not jumping in. Continue simming. We'll see the trades. See if we missed out on anything uh, big. Which is a possibility. It's more than likely. We only had seven. We had less. We didn't have enough money to call up an entire roster. Which is scary. Game. Come on. Don't break game. Hey. ho, oh, Hey. Opa. Is the deadline over? Deadline over? Oh. I'd love to pick you up. 26, 79 overall playing. I mean, we also still don't have the money for that, so I'm going to let you go. <laughs> no, no offense, man. Uh, I would love to bring him over. We got we got plenty of guys exactly like him, though. If he was one or two years younger, I'd definitely go for him. What was I going to check? What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, the, the trades, the trades. What do we miss? What do we miss? Trade, player picking, trading. Let's go all the way down. So Carolina, right? We're the Toronto Maple Leafs. Dominic Kubalik to the Detroit Red Wings. Perfect. Uh, Noah Hannafin to St. Louis. Ooh. Mark Andre Fleury goes back to Pittsburgh. Yeah, everybody liked that. Uh, let's see. Ryan Suzuki to Arizona. Ryan Graves to Carolina. Sam Reinhart to Wa. Sam Reinhart <laughs> to Washington. Uh, let's see. Kevin LeBanc to Winnipeg. Will Butcher to Chicago. Shattenkirk to Colorado. Edmonton acquires, gets back. Clef bomb. Cool. And it looks like we didn't miss out on anything crazy. So I'm happy we didn't jump in. Perfect. I get the guy that I sort of wanted, though. We are down to the final stretch of our third season as GM of this team. Let's get it done this episode potentially a president's trophy we could obtain golden knights are quite far up on us though it's six points it's not impossible we're just gonna have to go on a heater there uh i also want to know if you want us to change back coaches i'm not sure if it's changed too much we've definitely been scoring more goals i i can just tell oh it's the real deal Vatili Kratsov is back, baby. How did Phillips do in uh, relief? Not great. Not so great. Vatili, how I missed you so much. Maybe you should be our captain, huh? Maybe Vatili is the captain. Maybe he is. I don't know. He's kind of the playoff hero we always needed. And he's so good. But how much more could he do? We beat Philadelphia, our first game after the deadline. Ottawa, come on. Yeah, rack up the wins. Rack up the wins. We're at 40. Can we get to 50? We beat Winnipeg. Okay. We're at 87. Capitals are at 86. I'm just waiting for this. Oh, yeah. Golden Knights are at 91. Ooh, it's going to be close. I just first in the division. Aim for first in the East. First in the East. First in the East. First in the Eastern Conference. Do it. Yeah. Draft class. I don't think we're going to get a top 10 pick this year. Wasn't it perfect? Vegas is great now. John Tavares can have a great end to his, you know, his prime. He's out of his prime now. He's like, what would he be at this age? He's like 33 something, 34 maybe on Vegas. Didn't have a great season last year. I'm glad he's on a winning team now, but we did get Brett Nash out of it. I'm pretty happy with that. Grigorenko, is he going to be a franchise level talent? Uh, hmm, he's currently being scouted. Get him scouted, boys. That's a, that's a couple wins in a row. Uh, keep it going. Montreal, another? Holy moly, our last three games have gone to extra time. At least the fans are getting their money's worth. Tampa Bay and New York. We're closing in on first place in the NHL. We lose against Tampa Bay. That's going to that's gonna put a dent into our... Oh, into our trophy uh into our trophy run nicholas robertson has been injured until april 14th brutal for him lose 2-1 in overtime 
Ooh, I'm scared. I'm so scared, man. <laughs> Where's Matthews at? 48 goals? Only three in the last couple of games? Man, get it together. Oh my god, keep scrolling. Who's the best of the NHL? The Golden Knights at 97. Five points back. Pull it together, Toronto. Win a President's Trophy, baby. I usually win President's Trophies with teams I make. Let's go. Let's go. Pittsburgh, Chicago, Montreal. Get it done. Get it done. 6-5 regulation loss to Pittsburgh. Oh, and that's... It's over. It's over. Cool. Thanks, Toronto. Oh, isn't that friggin' beautiful? Fri fantastic from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, they do it again. They do it again. Don't you love when the Leafs just do that? Isn't it beautiful? Five losses in a row. Six... <laughs> ah, they always do. It's killing me. Oh, this team's killing me. Oh, this season. Oh, just get it over with. Oh, get it over with. Florida. 9-5 win. That's cool, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. April 24th. Austin Matthews is out. Oh my god, he's gonna miss the first round! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. I need a moment. Oh my god, I don't care how the simulating is going. Oh, so <laughs> oh like that man and you lose three again two seasons in a row you drop the last three games wow what a crappy season i'm gonna come out here and say it. what a crappy 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 season and we're facing the bruins i get it i need a, i need a nap i need a nap this game oh and they're gonna have home ice advantage too let's simulate a day where the bruins at and they have ho oh Oh no, it's not the Boston Bruins. Wait, hold on. Is that Le Montreal Canadiens? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. I'm down with that. I dig it. I did, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. Super unhappy because we're just gonna lose against them and carry Price, it's gonna suck. Ooh, after that coaching change, I, I should have kept a track of what our uh, or what our uh, record was uh, after, you know, that whole debacle, coaching debacle. So, best goal scoring team in the NHL, Minnesota and the Washington Capitals. We were the fourth best goal scoring team in the NHL. Now, if you gave us like a nine, how many, oh my god, our goals against was just crap. So bad. If you gave us like St. Louis goals against, we would have won 80 games. <laughs> <laughs> power play percentage we were the fourth best team in the league 20 percent still not good enough power uh penalty kill was a pretty damn good huh we were better away than we were at home sorry fans we were four six and oh in our last 10 we were how many points out of first place two <laughs> like nothing like like nothing great mitch marner leads us in points austin oh my don't i don't want to talk about it and he was a minus one no he's a minus one in the playoffs sorry <laughs> i was about to say like minus one with 94 points how does that even happen you got to be some kind of bad to do that what how do you 53 goals in 75 games what a what a machine I love him very much. He's a fantastic player, and he's injured. Great. Jonathan Huberto, over a point per game. Three players over a point per game. Fantastic. Willie Nylander, about where I want him. Not going to pay him nine mil, though. Dylan Larkin, 64 points. Kind of disappointing. I, they didn't have the plus two or the plus three or the plus five. They still put up great numbers. I'm just not sure if I'm going to bring back Dylan Larkin. May, uh, maybe all we need is a different coach. Maybe that's all we need. Chandler Stevenson, minus 20. Get off my team. You're an 85 overall. Even without good chemistry, you should just 
like not be that bad, right? You'd assume so. Nick Ritchie, and he was fantastic on the penalty kill. Can we talk about that? What was his giveaway to takeaway ratio? Giveaway to takeaway ratio. His giveaway, he had a fantastic giveaway to takeaway ratio. You want to explain that one to me? Uh, uh, I don't get it. Nick Ritchie sucked. Kerfoot sucked. Heinen sucked. Nybeck sucked. In his rookie season, though, 20 points. I'm happy with that. Morgan Geeky, so bad. How are we that bad? Defensively. Rasmus Sandin, 36 points. I'm very happy with that. Even Josh Manson, defensive defenseman, 25 points. We were so incredibly injured this year. Ugh. Brett Nash, 24 points in his rookie season. All he needs is a great coach now, like a one that legitimately fits him, which I can find, and I'm going to do it. That's my mission. Brett Nash, not upset with that at all. Uh, at all. Uh, Uyghur, extremely. I was super high on him after last season, e even after our first round. He was not impressive this year. Goaltending-wise... Like, okay, what else do you want me to do for you? Hmm? Do you want me to give you Jesus Christ as a defender? As an 88 overall, do you just think you could just maybe just win and be good once? Please. Best goaltender in the league was. Uh, I'm happy to see Jesper Wallstead be sick. That's really cool. Uh, honestly, I'm probably giving it to Jesper Wallstead. 915, 249 goals against. Pretty damn good. Rookie skaters? Connor Bedard. No, Brad Lambert, the best rookie skater in the NHL. Sexsmith was right there. Culp, Krebs, Bedard with only 46. He's on New York. He's only going to get better. Uh, don't be worried about him. Defenseman, give it to Victor Hedman. Oh, what a season. 88 points. Ooh, good for him. And that Art Ross? Ryan O'Reilly? Oh, oh, O'Reilly. 11. Uh, I almost said 11. <laughs> I did say 11. 111 points. Ryan O'Reilly with a career season. Good for him. Pavel, St. Louis is a great team. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, Kirill Kaprizov, 100 points. Fantastic. How, okay, so I could make Connor McDavid a 99 overall. And he would. It's just something built in his design as like a player in the simulation that he just never puts up 130 point seasons. Just put up 130-point seasons, Connor. If there's one player that should ever be able to do it in simulation, it's him. I don't know. Mitch Marner was the fifth best scorer in the NHL this season. Actually tied for uh, fourth. Good for him. And how about that Rocket Richard? I'm so upset. Oh, Mitch. No. Why did I say Mitch? Austin Matthews would have absolutely unequivocally won an, uh, a Rocket Trophy if he had played one or two more games. That's so disappointing. I'm so upset for him. Goals for, I mean, assists, I can't. I'm not so ups I'm so tired. <laughs> so I just can't. Let's let it end. 79 assists for Victor Hedman. Good for him. Uh, leading the league. Okay. Season's over. Regular season, that be. Uh, <laughs> just the playoffs. And we're playing the Montreal Canadiens in the first round. And they have home ice. Isn't that swell? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like. Leave a comment. Share this with people you think may enjoy this sort of thing. I will see you in round one at the Bell Center. Ciao.